All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Up Church on the channel. I'm getting back in my music bag. Okay, so I'm getting back to the music, man. I have to first off let me apologize to everybody that joined the channel doing that music run that I did um, earlier. And I know a lot of you guys joined the channel for music. If you haven't left yet, I am really sorry. I do apologize. I have always had plans to come back to the music. It's just that my schedule wasn't allowing me and the things that I was doing before, I couldn't really fit the music in. So it was kind of like, it was weird for me. It was like I was trying to find time to do music, but I just couldn't. You get what I'm saying? So even though they're the shortest reactions that I do, other things has kind of felt like priority for me to do before I started music. So it was kind of like, it was a little iffy. So what I tried to do, I was trying to find a balance and I finally came up with an idea to um, every fourth week of every month, I just completely concentrate on music. So for one week, all the suggestions, just knock them out and just um, do music the entire week. Now, this week is going to be a little bit different. It is the fourth week of the month final week of the month but I am home I am quarantined I am on semi lockdown so I have all the time in the world to do music and the other stuff on the channel so when it comes on to the music I'm going to be doing music so I'm going to spread it out for the week but I'm still going to be uploading the other stuff on the channel if that's what you enjoy on the channel but anyways man we're going to check out up church it's been a while since I heard this dude I know that Skillshot, of course, is is um is probably going to have the sa the beat is supposed to. I mean, it's a play on Eminem Skillshot, so um we'll see what it's about. I heard that this was a Katie Noel diss, right? Um, at least that's what I heard because I know about the falling out, and I didn't even know they were together. I just heard the news that they were falling out because I, I follow up church, but for his music, I don't really pay attention to his personal life that much, but it did come across because I am subscribed to him. I did see the video that he made. Um, so I don't want to bring up old news or anything like that. Um, I didn't make no videos about it because it's, I don't think it was any of my business. So, because I don't know them personally, if they want to fight it out over the internet, that's fine. I saw both sides, just a small comment. I saw both sides. I saw him make a video. I saw she made a video. I watched both. Um, and I took Ryan Upchurch's side. I took his side because I, I'm a man. And if a woman does that to me, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to end my career because you... I don't even want to comment because it kind of pissed me off at the time because I was like, I can imagine if a woman do, did that to me, it wouldn't be just words over the internet. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be. Let's just say that. So anyways, I want to hear this skill shot because I never listened to it at the time. Um, and someone did tell me that this was a Katie Noel disc. So let's go check this out. And I know this was a long time ago or whatever so it's not like i'm i'm not trying to bring up old stuff or dredge up old feelings or anything like that i just want to hear what he had to say on this track right here i'm going to be checking out some other up church today but i really wanted to hear this on some let me just react to it so let's do it he put it out there so let's listen to this let's go a good percentage of these fucking these rappers you know that call themselves rappers or whatever man how does that make a, okay so say say you're a rapper right you know what I'm who saying? is say this rapper, talking rapper whatever you've been in the game for a good 10 years whatever whatever and then some dude comes in that is naturally a country artist and bosses you up put your seat belt on you're gonna need it in a minute i ain't scared to die laughing rappers try to ride with me i'ma make you fall off because i pop mad willies you just suck while i'm sucking on mad titties on bad bitches, bad bitches. yeah straight from the countryside but my sick thin ass can i bum a fucking ride now nah, fuck a record label lamborghini looking fresh army green paint mud caked on the head rest. i'm, the I'm not gonna lie i miss this dude man <laughs> i miss this dude i am not going to lie man i miss hearing him I miss hearing him, man. 
it's so so refreshing when you when I start listening to Upchurch. It's just so refreshing because his vibe, his vibe, his energy when he comes on tracks is it's it's other than the fact that um some of the stuff is saying stuff he's saying is hilarious, but at the same time the energy that he brings on the track is is like it just makes you perk up to listen to him. You know what I'm saying? Let's bring that back a little bit. Me, I'ma make you fall off cause I pop mad willies. You just make suck while I'm sucking mad titties on bad bitches. Mm. Yeah, straight from the countryside, bum a sick thin ass. Can I bum a fucking ride? Now it's fuck a record label Lamborghini looking fresh. Army green paint, mud caked on the headrest. I'm the rooster, no need for career boosters. I'll be blowing up a rest of professional scam floaters. Got a degree in winning, so I'm unable to be a loser. Hip hop is my drug, bitch. I'm a nerd day user. <laughs> 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 for the past three years, I know a lot of motherfuckers that owe me beers, and you're gonna give it to me. I ain't even saying cheers, I ain't even saying thanks, I ain't even taking one drink. I'll dump it on the ground and tell the bartender you bought it. And says it kick you when you're not singing the south, like then invite you to a hip hop party around six at the corner of Second Avenue. Where I suck a dick. If you're still sleeping on me, won't you grab a tea? Just make sure it ain't a trick trying to boost your income, kid. Don't fucking fire me unless you wanna get cremated for making me masturbate while you hang with your ex, baby. Let's be honest. I'm still a top doggy dog, and then I'm hungry. And Ew. Damn. That hurt and it ain't even me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. That's one of the things that I heard about too. That I was like, bruh, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? And he not even he's not hiding any of it. Is he the one in the picture here covering his mouth? Is is it her? covering his mouth who's covering his mouth here is it who is covering his mouth is this his mom or is it is it an old picture of them or something i don't know no, hardly tired of harsh barking. You ain't got a song that's independently chart topping. You couldn't be a shocking career if it had a fucking dog collar Hope like hold on a second man because he going in on her right now baby let's be honest still a top doggy dog Hold on. I can never knew ass like a dick. If you still sleeping on me, won't you grab a tea? Just make sure it ain't a trick trying to boost your income, kid. Don't fucking fire me unless you want to get cremated for making me masturbate while you hang with your ex, baby. Let's be honest. I'm still a top doggy dog and then I'm hungry and not hardly tired of harsh barking. You ain't got a song that's independently chart topping. You couldn't be a shocking career if it had a fucking dog collar. Hope you like. Ooh. Them bars are hitting. They hurt. And it ain't even me. <laughs> oh my god. Your number one hit song, I had to buy a leash and pretty much fucking walk you to it, you little bitch. I mean, female Labradoodle. Her raps are Mona Lisa, yours are like half a doodle. I'm rapping for the purse, like a bag to poodle. Country rap, I'm gonna be the fucking last to do it. I killed five careers with only words of math. We can't chop it up, but can you dodge a sack? I'm gonna make you a pass rap artifact. My cards are secretly razor blades when they look like blackjack. Ain't no dodging me, not even when I scat. It was an accidental love tap. I was watching this vid of a guy and he was real mad. You could tell he loved her, but she played him. It was real sad. Now my attitude is the rap heads and glad bags. I cannot you. Yeah, what the fuck? Now I'm colder than the songs I wrote. And I'm coming for you if you got a throw. Who look down on me like I'm shit or something? I like that flow switch. I like that flow switch. That's one of the things that he really excels at that I really like about him. He doesn't, he keeps you entertained. And it's something that I talk about a lot. I do not like rappers that keep the same cadence throughout a whole song if you're doing it for more than a certain amount of time. Like, I want to hear you switch up your flow. I need you to keep me entertained. I'm listening to music and I want to hear you as the artist do something different. Yes, it might be a short track. It might be a three minute track, but I still want to hear, you know, you fluctuate your voice, do something different. See, like how we cut out the music, put in the part from the phone call. It's different, different stuff. Keep me entertained. Keep me to not be bored. 
you get what I'm saying? One of the things that I really appreciate from Up Church, man. Yeah, what the fuck? Now I'm colder than the slums I wrote, and I'm coming for you if you got a throat. Who look down on me like I'm shit or something? Fuck the CMAs, fuck the CMTs, fuck the VH1 and both MTVs. You're a broken <laughs> record. At least I'm gold when these rappers diss me. <laughs> You're a broken record. At least I'm gold, bitch. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't be a hater. You know what I mean? Me, it becomes our biggest song. It's a shotgun. Some gold. When these rappers diss me, it becomes our biggest song. It's a shotgun shame. It's been half a decade. They got two dweebs still having me make their short change. And I ain't even seen a short change. You still got ass bars and a dork name. You're a <laughs> Yo, up church. Come on, bro. It's a shotgun shame. It's been half a decade. They got two dweebs still having me make the short change. And I ain't even seen a short change. You still got ass bars <laughs> and a dork name. You're a woody doll that ain't too much cake. Oh, wait, a cartoon, 100% fake. Look at Big Star getting picked apart like a demolition derby and only one little smart car. I like everybody Chevys. Now you like boss sex and daddies. And that's why you and Chris take a lead each other on a futon in your fucking Snapchat story. I give an evil grin. Bruh. Mm. <laughs> and that's why you and Chris take a lead each other on a futon in your fucking Snapchat story. I give an evil grin. You think that you're Roman, Roman, don't bitch like a diva on Instagram. Any hard work. Of Scarface, bitch. Uh, can you even start a chainsaw? Cause Lord knows you ain't got any bar old. Hit cop party more like flipped over bar store with you and Hoja sitting on it like, dude, this is cold. Peavis, you can't butt heads with me. Shane's last video is only sitting on three. And on my way home, I'll quadruple your stats. Cause your square body Chevy be sitting on flat. With your boy in the back screaming, I ain't got gas. You're so non sharp, you couldn't cut dead grass. And you suck more than the best blowjob facts. Every real skin knows you blow a smoke out your ass. Y'all should be like gay. Fucking weirdos. Yo, he went in, bruh. I mean, as I said, I don't want to dredge up old stuff because it's been a like a while now since this happened at the beginning of the year. So I don't want to dredge up old stuff. I just really wanted to hear this track, but he really went in on him, man. And as I said, man, I took his side. Because when when it comes down to certain things, I usually put myself in that person's shoe. You get what I'm saying? Um, what can I say, man? You know, and then all the stuff that was revealed after, too. Like, it was crazy. But anyways, man, this was a fire track, fire diss track, by the way. Um... He did an excellent job of getting his point across and getting the disrespect across, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in, as always, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this reaction. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you want to see next from me on this channel, regardless of if it's Upchurch or whoever. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.